Hey YouTube, it's Miranda and Jordan, and we just boarded the Adventure of the Seas, a Royal Caribbean ship that is taking us to Bermuda. We're so excited. We just drove from Connecticut to, I think it's Bayonne, New Jersey, where the port is. It's Cape Liberty. The process was very easy. When you pulled in, there were people that were directing you to where you drop your luggage off. Once you get that settled, you pull directly into the garage, park your car, go to the port, check in with all your documents, which I have a whole video about. I'll link down below. That's it. That's it. Then you go That's to security it. and get on the boat. Yeah. They gave us these stickers. You still have it on. That, that, what, which way am I boarding? <laughs> that um, showed that we're ready and we're approved. And now we're on the boat. I guess it's a ship. I should stop calling it a boat. I'm sorry. So we're on deck seven. We just walked up here to see if our room is ready, but we have about an hour until the, the cabin's going to be ready. Um, so let me show you what we see from our deck. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to your vacation. They have these little decks you can stand on to look over, so we're on one of those. And there's like an indoor little like mall, or I don't know what they call this. They think it's called, I don't know what it's called, but I think it has a name. But it's like a plaza. It's got restaurants, it's got shops, I'm pretty sure. It's pretty gorgeous. If you're not following me on TikTok, make sure you go head over there because even though these will be posted after the fact, I'll have a whole bunch of TikToks up about the cruise as well. So out here people are checking into their safety, what is it called, their muster station to do their safety briefing. Um, it used to be where you had to actually, like everyone would, the horn would sound, people would all go to their muster stations. Now on cruise ships you just have to go check in, I think it's a post-COVID thing. It's really nice because you don't have to do that mad dash, it takes a lot of time out of your first day. So Now we're just out on the deck, what deck did we come down to? So we came back down to deck four and I'm just looking at the view of the city. It's, it just looks absolutely gorgeous. So here we go. This is all New York. The Statue of Liberty is... Where is she? She's right here. Incredible. So we're just going to explore around a little bit until our room's ready. So I think we're in the atrium at the moment. If that, I don't know. I don't really know. Oh, the promenade. Oh, Jordan just saw the sign that the like shopping and like the place that looks like a little city is called the Royal Promenade. So let's head up there. There's a buffet somewhere, so I just asked, and it's on deck 11, so we're going to find it. All right, deck 11, let's see. They have hand sanitizer everywhere. You can see the statue really good from up here. It's awesome. All right, we just walked into the spa and fitness center to just explore a little bit. It looks like they do like a spin class here. I'd be very interested in that. It's probably an extra fee. I don't know, we'll try and find out. And we're gonna go check out, Jordan's interested in the fitness center, so. Won't use it, but just want to know. That. You might use it. I don't know. You've been on your fitness grind. Weights, balls, lots of machines. Dumbbells, treadmills. Oh, that stinks. What? The last. Um, well, I guess over there it's not so bad. Oh, because this is blocked by. Yeah, the last ship. Uh, this was wide open, so you could run and look out in front of the boat where we were going. Oh, well, that was on the um, Carnival Liberty. Yeah. That was really nice. This is nice, though. If you were like right here, that'd be a good yeah, view. Yeah. And then the stair machines that are always broken at our gym. <laughs> oh, look, oh. one's broken here. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. For it's for social distancing. Uh, hmm. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Thank you. Yeah. Smells good up here, like the spa. Ooh. So these are all spa rooms. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, nice. So apart from the detox treatment, we have this signature massage. The signature massage, uh, the, the different type of signature massage, I'm going to explain it to you with the hot stone first. Mm. The hot stone is really, really good for people who have muscle tension, who have stiffness, tightness. So we heated these stones and then the stones 
retain heat so much and it's really good when it is um, work on the muscle because it goes down deep down in the belly of the muscle to relax those muscle tension stiffness okay and the pressure is not very strong neither it's very soft it's good for people who want medium pressure mm. okay. all right so my name is Les I'm from South Africa and I'm one of the estheticians on board I specialize in LMS biotech now LMS biotech has anyone had an biotech facial before no all right so the biotech facials what we do is we take a picture before the treatment starts and we can see the skin six layers deep that helps us determine which facial is best suited for you. Well, it was definitely interesting to hear about the spa, but it's very expensive. I actually took a picture of the venue, so I'll insert it here. But a couple's massage, I think, started at like $450 or something like that. Yeah, it can't So I don't know if we'll be doing that, but it would be, it would feel really good. Is this right? Nope. Bye -bye. <laughs> All right. All right, we made it to our room. Here you go. Sorry. Thank you, okay? Yeah. Got it? Alright. Da, 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 da. Ooh, this is nice. A couch. Nice size bed. This is way bigger than our last cruise room, remember? Uh, yeah, it was about half the size. Yeah, and I, didn't we have to like push our beds together or something? Yeah, I think they were too... I'm really excited to have a balcony this time. That's nice. How does this work? Is that, oh, it was locked. Got it. Wow. That takes some muscle. Oh, it up on that seal, I guess. Oh. All right. Oh, so it's watertight? Yeah. And here's our little balcony. We are definitely eating like breakfast or like late night snack out here. This is nice. Imagine us on the on the open water. How do you feel? This is gonna be nice in like three hours, man. I know it's not so nice right now, but <laughs> I think it'll be. I think we'll dock because don't you always dock on the same side, or no? Like when we pull into port in Bermuda, are we gonna be like looking at Bermuda? That's a great question. I don't remember. Where's the front of this ship? The front is that way. Yeah. It's called the back. Okay. All right. Well, I guess now is the best time for the room tour while it still looks like this. So, I mean, this is the room tour. Like, it's a it's a crew uh, it's a cruise cabin. There's not a whole lot to see, but um, Jordan has about two inches of clearance in here <laughs> between the ceiling and his head. And I must. Wow, that is noisy out there. Don't worry, I can fix that. Is this a queen size bed? I think so. What I need to know about is the outlets, of course, which I think are over here. Oh, we didn't bring an adapter. That's something they say to bring. These are American. I brought something that like extends the outlet, so we'll have three on one of them, but then it might block that one. So I don't know. We'll see. But how does this turn on? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> nice. That's, that's good lighting. Yeah, nice. Here, here we are. Here's our traveling to a cruise outfit of the day. Are you going to get in the outfit of the day? Nice. <laughs> are you wearing your, oh, I thought you were wearing your Columbia shirt too. I did pack it, but I am not wearing it. Oh, this whole outfit's from Columbia, except the shoes are Adidas, and they were my mom's, but they didn't fit her, so I get them. Comfort level? It's, it's stiff. Stiff? It's stiff. Oh no, not good for the hips. It'll be fine. You're really tired. Jordan just got back from a work trip last night, and here we are already on another trip. All right, let's check out the bathroom. I think this will be the light or the fan. Something just happened. No, light for sure. Well, this is decent. Kind of enough space to dance around, so <laughs> if that gives you any, like, understanding of the space. And here's the mirror, little sink, and then a tiny little shower. Standard for a cruise ship, I believe. If you don't know, fun fact, I worked on Disney Cruise Line for two weeks, so I'll link those videos down below too. <laughs> and our crew cabin was probably like, mm, probably from the door till maybe like the end of this, but that included the beds. So the beds were like, the beds took up like, 
the width of the TV and that was where the wall was. The beds were the wall. Yeah. This is nice. So that is the tour of the room. I don't know. We'll see what we get up to later. So they have these breakfast menus in here that you hang on your door and you can choose what time you want it delivered in the morning. And inside there's the two menus. One is free. So this side is the continental breakfast and it's things like fruit and toast, bagels, muffins, pastries. You can get like jams and spreads, cereal, some, did I say fruit already? And then juices. And then the American breakfast is $7.95 per room delivery, which I think is just like, you can get as much as you want and it will just cost you $7.95. I'm not really sure though. Um, but they have like everything you'd expect, eggs, um, hash browns, bacon, sausage, chicken sausage, and then pancakes. And then you can add mimosas or the ultimate Bloody Mary. I might have to try an ultimate Bloody Mary one day. So maybe we'll get the continental breakfast because why not, it's included. But I'm pretty sure the buffet does a breakfast that's included too and like it's all that stuff and more. So I guess all you're paying for is for them to put it on a plate and bring it to you. So maybe we'll just like go grab it and then come sit on our balcony or something. I did just buy the Wi-Fi. It cost an arm and a leg. It was 20, I think it was almost $25 a day. And that's only for one device. So I think if I want to upload a YouTube video or something, I'm just going to have to airdrop it to my phone and then upload it from my phone. But whatever. Now Jordan's gonna download his fantasy football app on my phone. You should do that right now. I'm all sweaty because I was just trying to learn um, Costin Mayer's choreography to AJR's World's Smile Smallest Violin or whatever the song is. If I, if I master it, I'll show it to you. Otherwise, it might be on TikTok, I don't know. But now I'm so thirsty and we have no water in our room, so we're gonna go find some, probably a snack and some water for sure. And we should check into the drink package for you because Jordan likes to drink Coke, so. Jordan's so tired. <laughs> Alright, we made it to the Windjammer, which is like the buffet on board. Um, lunch is till 3 and then dinner starts at 6, but we're going to be doing like the rotational dining or however it works. You can wash your hands on the way in. Alright, let's explore this buffet. Starting here, fresh baked. Looks like we got some desserts and stuff. I see some salads. Yeah, I don't know. It's confusing because there's salads here as well. What else? Uh, I don't know. International flavors. Okay, so we've got pasta and stuff. Should we should we get a plate and start? Or do you want to walk around first? All right, we're going to do a lap first and then get a plate. We've got mashed potatoes and carrots. Looks like some roasted chicken. Oh yeah, white rice. Okay, we got some masala, egg curry. Lentils. We've got some whole fruit. Potato leek soup and chicken noodle soup. An assortment of sauces. It's like a bunch of different breads. And then, oh yeah, it does look like a grill. So there's some rolls here for like hot dogs and burgers, I think. Oh yeah, and then in here we've got some burgers, hot dogs, some french fries, mashed potatoes and gravy. Steamed carrots, roasted potatoes, more roasted chicken. Looks like some of the same stuff as before. This section is called healthy and sweet, but right now it looks like it's just sweet. We've got some, um, ooh, that chocolate bar looks really good. This looks good too, is it blueberry? Black currant, black currant? I don't know how you say it. Okay, drinks are down here. Looks like they get them for you. And we've got some, what do we have? Huh? I don't know. Was it? It's uh, iced tea, water, lemony, and fruit punch. Fruit punch? Okay. What do you want? Water? Iced tea, water, lemonade, and fruit punch. I think I'm going to go for fruit punch to start. I should test the water though, huh? I'm going to do a lemonade. Okay. Thank you. Hmm. That's good. This does not look that appetizing all in one plate together, <laughs> but it's fine. Uh, I've got mashed potatoes and gravy, a lot of pickles, because I love pickles. Um, some, some steamed carrots, some roasted peppers before with like the hot dogs. And then I just got some pasta with white sauce and marinara sauce. How's your burger? <laughs> Should I try it? Yeah, let me, uh, oh, some salt. let me give it some real flavor. A little bit of spice. 
Cruise ship food doesn't impress me much, like the buffets especially, but right, it's included. Good. Did that do anything? It looks kind of Burger King style. It's fine. And nothing special. But it was Better good. than school food. Better than school food. Uh, cabin safety. Uh, They're doing some safety announcements, and it looks like the luggage has been delivered to a lot of the rooms. I took my desserts back to the room where we're going to have them maybe on the balcony. Oh, sure. My luggage. Hey, look at that. That's ours. Do I wait for it to get delivered? Hey, this one's fine. Do we take them? No, they're going to the deliver them. All right. The door to your room All right, fine. At the same time. It's happening, guys. This, the horn just sounded, and we're pushing off from the dock. Let's do this. We can see the bridge from our room. There it is. We can see inside there. We're off to Bermuda. I think our cruise director said we wouldn't get to Bermuda until the morning. Well, no, tomorrow, the, the, the next day, morning. Yeah, because tomorrow's a full day at sea. So. What did they do the choice? Well, yeah, I think it, we we could get there quicker, yeah. but. Which is cool. Yeah, me and Jordan were going through the um, the app. It has like a calendar, like a schedule of everything that's happening on the ship. So we added some things to the calendar that interests us, like trivia, some game shows. What else did we add? Um, bingo, maybe. Dancing. Also. Dancing, some fitness stuff. We'll see. We'll take you along for all of it. Don't worry. In my head, cool stuff only existed in Florida for the longest time after my Disney College program. And that's just so not the case. Like, we just drove a couple hours from home and hopped on this freaking cruise ship. And now we're off to Bermuda. Like, and that's an extreme example. You know, like, yeah, cruise. Like, that's a big deal. It costs money, whatever. But there's so many small things around home that I've found so much joy in over the past few years. I don't know why I was stuck in that mindset that like Florida was the only cool place and like I think it was because that was like my only college experience and like that's where I found a lot of my close friends and we had so much fun and there was Disney and things are open late but there's things to do everywhere and I've really grown to love home over the past six years and now I don't I don't think I, I don't know if I want to leave maybe eventually maybe that maybe we'll both want to eventually or something but at this moment in my life, like, where I live is so beautiful. When I have friends come from out of town, they tell me, like, you have so many things around here. You can get to different states in, like, an hour. You can get to two major cities, Boston and New York, just a couple hours. It's a good place to, like, hopefully raise kids eventually. And, like, we can drive three hours to New Jersey and hop on this cruise ship. So, I don't know. I was just thinking about that. Here's the view from our balcony. Loving it. Once we get in the open ocean where like there's nothing, no land, no bridges, no lighthouses, no nothing. It's such a cool feeling. Haven't been on a cruise in like six years since I worked on Disney Cruise Line. I remember it being one of the best vacations I've ever been on. It was just so cool. Okay, so we're gonna go possibly... Are, are we going under the bridge? Oh, we're going under the bridge. We're going under a bridge, so we're gonna go to the front of the ship and like watch it happen. Oh. We already left. <laughs> I was gonna show you the, the promenade, how it's not as busy now, but. Right. All right? Yeah. But um, I'll show you that later, cause we're on a mission. Access to Peekaboo Bridge on port side. All right, give it a shot. I know I think it's just the smoking side of the ship. Oh, that's right. Okay, where are you? Oh, this is sick. You can look at you can actually look inside the bridge on this ship. So cool. Thank you guys. You're doing a great job. I want to go down where they are. We'll have to do that at some point. Oh yeah, that's the helipad. That's right. Alright, so here it is, much less crowded than earlier, the Royal Promenade, and I guess this place right here, uh, what was it called, does it say? I think it's called Promenade Cafe or something like that, so that's included. Everything else that's food down here is an extra charge, and then there's shopping and stuff which couldn't open until, I think we were moving, it might be open now, we'll have to go take a look. Room number 7240, which is right there, so it's very easy to get to. Cool. Is my key still in my pocket? That's good news. 
Dun, 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 dun. And our luggage did come, so we have our clothes. I feel like we're going so fast now. Step on the gas. For real. I'm putting my phone on airplane mode. I did get the Wi-Fi, so I'm still going to be connected to Earth, <laughs> but Jordan isn't. Well, he can use my phone. He got his fantasy football set up. Don't worry, guys. They were worried. But I think I'm going to end this video here because it's probably getting pretty long, and then I'm going to start a second one for the evening. So we'll have dinner, probably do like trivia or something. I don't know really what's going on tonight. I'm going to have to check our calendar. But, um, yeah, I just figure I'll break it into multiple videos, and this cruise series, we are here for lots of days, so this wow. will probably be, like, a, a lot of vlogs on this ship. <laughs> I think I might do a whole video about what I ate on this cruise ship, too, because that sounds fun. So, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss a video, and leave any questions about cruising in the comments down below. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Mm -hmm.